What is going on guys? DBG here and today we are going to be going over another episode of the old no money spent squad. So lads, we have made a few purchases. So if you guys did not see, we sold our Duncan Robinson. So not Duncan Robinson, we, sold, we didn't sell any of our Duncan Robinsons. We sold our Nick Batum. So we bought Nick Batum for like 50k yesterday. We sold him for 75k today. And I want to see what price he's going for now. I should have sold him last night. And I should have eat without question sold him this morning because his Evo was not great. So you guys can see right now, like he's no bids for 55k. So he's barely going for more than when I purchased him for yesterday. The big difference is, is that like he's now, his Evo is very, very easy. But he's a really solid player. He was, I don't think his Evo made him any better though. I really don't. If you were to ask me what I felt about him, my opinions of him now are the exact same as my opinions of him before the Evo card. I think he's a really good card, but I like, I'm not that high on him. I'm really not. Like again, the Evo takes between 20 and 40 minutes. Um, if you're really slow, it'll take 40 minutes. If you're really fast, it'll take 20. But like, you're paying about 50k for the guy who is now cheaper than he was yesterday, even with the Evo. So it is kind of a crazy one. These Evos may not be the greatest investments in the world. And then Robert Covington went down in price. But the difference is that Roko's brilliant. I tell you what, what price is Roko's Ruby? Let's see if there's really any space to make profit on this. So if he's more than like three, let's see what price. Okay, so for Roko's Ruby, he's like, uh, there's definitely room for profit on this one. There's definitely room for profit evoing him. So Amethyst. Even if the Amethyst goes for 7k, yeah. Like, I'm cool. There's room for profit on Roko. Like, the Amazon are like 7, 900. So, if you can get these guys for like 4k, if you can get them for less than 5k, and you're just playing TT offline anyway, like 7, 200, you're making that little bit of a profit. You really are. So, my collection, premium, or I'm also just going to send my one to my auction, to the auctions. Because my one's low on contracts anyway. So, send him to the auctions. Then we go and my auctions. Chuck Robert Covington up for is it seven thousand one hundred. I think that's a little bit. That's barely more than what I paid from yesterday. The difference is we did just get one for four thousand three fifty, which is a really good price. Nice snipe there. So let's go and take a look at what Duncan is selling for. We've been gradually selling off our Duncans, and it has been a. This has been our most successful investment ever. This has been, we have made more than double. We have made more than double our returns on Duncan Robinson. This has been by far our most successful investment ever. Two, six hundred. Unreal. Throw another two of these guys for two, six hundred. It's actually crazy because Sapphires, Sapphires are still going to be needed at some stage and then 2K aren't giving out Sapphires anymore. So Duncan Robinson is still going to be pretty decent. So yeah, let's sell these two. Waiting till Friday to sell Darius because I think he's going to be needed for limited. And I'm telling you, um, Aiton is going to be needed for Aiton's going to be the is he is the best amethyst and lower Western Conference center. And that is if that's if limited this weekend, his last weekend but Western Conference, we're cool empty wise. Or we're cool um with Aiton. Okay, I'm kind of looking at selling Robman. He's robbing him like he's about 14. He's about 12k. I could have sold him for 15 at the weekend. I'll still sell him for 11 because I bought him for like 8. I bought him back for like 8k. I don't think he's bad. For, he's bad for that price though. I just don't need Robin for anything. I just really do not need Dennis Robin. I'm waiting till late enough in the season to sell Alex English though. Because he has unlimited exp he has an unlimited agenda. And I think people are, because he is an unlimited agenda, later on in the season, people are going to be very, very hyped on Alex English. Uh, Rodman sell for, set put over in like 9, 950. 
let him sell for that. What's the Dimwitty going for? Because we did actually make one huge purchase. We made one absolutely massive purchase. Color Amethyst and Dimwitty. Let's put him up for like. Let's see, does he go for 11? Uh, give me a snipe. Screw it, let's just throw them both up for. I definitely sell this one for like 10, 500. I definitely sell it in with you for 10, 500. So I bought him for like 8 something. So I'm like 10, 5, make like a thousand coin profit. Or 10, 4, 50, you should sell for that. I'm just gonna put up this one 12 hours. It may sell, it may not, and I don't really care. Like, I'll 10, 9. Because Dimwitty is pretty nice. Um, depending who else has a bit of value. I kind of want to get rid of Glenn while he still has some value. So we got Glenn Dice right here. I don't particularly rate Glenn Rice high. He was very, very cheap last weekend. I kind of want to keep Hondo because I like Hondo. Um, I think I'm cool with keeping Hondo. There's really no point keeping Glenn Rice. Like, whatever. We lost like 3 or 4k. We lost like 1 to 2k MT. I think I bought him for like 4.5. Okay, so 3,450 seems to be a, a guaranteed sale price. Unreal, 3,7. 3,900. Surely there was a bunch for 4k, wasn't there? Yeah. That's a weird one. None for 3,900, but a bunch for 4. Yeah, but like, Glenn is not a player I like. I'm really not a fan of Glenn Rice. Like, I get it. A lot of people are, like, are genuinely fans of this card. These people use tall players. And I need defensive stats to hold defense. I really do. And I usually check the buddy healed prices. Always just check the buddy healed prices. Okay, buddy healed is at, like, somebody's invested in buddy heals. So this is not the time to put up my buddy healed. Um... But yeah, so because we have a Robert Covington, we are right back on the current gen. And the reason why I'm selling my Dinwiddie's, I got a new point guard. First of all, Dinwiddie wasn't doing great. He just wasn't doing, he wasn't doing badly. He was not doing great either. He was kind of in that like, he was in that section where I was just like, you know what? He's not bad. Like I really didn't want to, um, I didn't want to go out of my way. Um, and trying to force him into the team. There were a lot of situations where he got exploited. So we went for like 14,000 MT. We picked up DeJounte. We picked up good old DeJounte Murray. Who's going to be our point guard. So DeJounte is obviously really, really good. And then at the two guard position. Or at the small four position. We are going to go with Robert Covington. And now is the time to Evo Robert Covington again. You make a little bit of profit. Like again, it's about, he's about two thousand more. So in ten minutes of this game, you can make two thousand MT. You can make like twelve K MT an hour evoing Covington. But then eventually, like there is a limited amount of Ruby Covington. So like it's not, it's not the most efficient way of making MT. Not a bad way either. Like you can make quite a bit MT off it. Like I was making like four thousand MT off my Gary Harris investments. Of each of them, and they took probably twice as long. So, I wouldn't be a. I'd not be opposed to anyone deciding. You know what? Screw it. I I want to make my goal. Evoing up Brokos. Because he is a nice, nice player. Um, friends, let's go. Because we are just. We're just looking for ways of making MT. Like again, it's not a bad way. A little bit annoying that Tyree Gavins is there. Makes it a little bit harder to get a steal with Roko. So what's it is? Six assists, six points, one steal, one block. Just take the attack the left hand. Yeah, you can see that there. You can see that there. He goes straight for the uh, He goes straight for the behind the back. Which he now is the Scotty behind the back, which is very annoying. Get a step behind, and I hit his head. That's cool, that's cool. We got the chase down. We got the chase down animation. We got the board at least. Run to the basket. And one. Okay, that's fine. Steal. There we go. That's our steal sorted. The French, you can green that. Good. Let's go. I know for a fact we can't do the six points with all steals or with all threes. And we've got like 
I think we can make three three-pointers. I don't know, but it's a it's not too big a number. Why am I looking for steals? I need a block. I just need a block, assist, and six points now. There we go. Right into Noah. Good dunk. Okay, chase down time. Chase down time and hope for the best right here. Oh my god. Okay, we got him. Oh, come on. I mean, could have been worse. You could have just let them score. Oh, come on. Let him get the ball. Let him get it. That's you. Roko. Come on. Come on. We need to do this one. We need to get the hang of this. Oh, that's bad. Come on, Roko. Straight to Noah. Makes that lap. Let's go. Come on, like at least he's got three assists. He's got his steal. Hit the block. The block should be easier to get than the steal, honestly. They're just going for floaters. They're just shooting floaters. If I don't get the block, I will freak. Because the blocks are normally the easy thing to get. I got the steal straight away. The steals are the hard ones. The blocks are the easy ones. me there we go all right two more assists and then we just get our points we get our three pointer and we just get our points and we're in good L shape we're in good L shape right here good LaFrance run cut hard Noah cut hard keep cutting hard Noah the ball may go through and it does good job he may not have the Batum needle threader animations but uh Still not got too... His animations still are not too bad. Still. Yeah, I don't really know about how to play lanes in this game anymore. But Noah gets to steal. Screw it, let's hit three. That's definitely not where we want to, what we want to do. Okay, come on. We need one more assist. And then we're all good. Lay it in. Lay it in, Noah. And um, we threw it into his hands. Okay, I'm just impatient. I'm genuinely just being impatient. Because all I have to do is... Pass the screen away. Stand here. And hold triangle. That's a guarantee bucket. I was just too impatient. I'm just holding triangle without getting into the correct positions. Okay, now it's just six points with him. And a three-pointer. My God, Tyreek Evans is absolutely just cooking me here. Give me that. It's that early? Really? Okay. Run it up. It's a two. I mean, I greened a 36, which is not an easy thing to do. I just shot a two. Okay, come on. Literally just leave Ryan Holland's wide open. He, I was like, he may be someone that's programmed to shoot the ball every time. Because I know some big men genuinely are. They have a three-point tendency of 100. So their AI shoots the three-pointer every time. Four-point play. Oh, come on. It's silly how often four-point plays happen in a, in next on next-gen. Like, they happen a lot. Get open green. How are these airlies? Oh my god. I can't I can't get a three. At least we're getting blocks. Run down. Stop green. How are these airlies? What the hell is going on? I'm most definitely not shooting airlies. I can tell you for a fact that I'm not shooting airlies. I don't know what's happening here. Shoot it. His release is actually pretty nice. I think, is that the Ibaka release? Come on. 
Green. There we go. Green animation. Let's go. That is a big shot right there. Okay, one more shot and we win. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. He's programmed to shoot every time. Lovely, lovely. That's what I need to learn when I'm playing Ryan Hollins. He is programmed to shoot the ball. Every single time that he gets a chance, he will shoot. Green that. Roco, good shot. There we go. I'll take that. I'll take that win. Let's open the vault and hope we can get something good. So if we can get something good here, then it's all gonna be worth it. Give me Perv is short. Now, again, we are over we are the best part of a thousand games in, and we have seen absolutely sweet FA. We've seen a damp here. I have missed the vault on my last five attempts. I have not opened the vault. This is not good. This is not good, 2K. Okay. On to the I'm not gonna say slightly better, slightly worse. Like, I don't think either of these 2K games are bad. I think a lot of things in game 2K have made just to frustrate the player, but I don't actually think either of these games are bad per se. So yeah, sorry about uh, the pause there. Still gotta cough sometimes, blow my nose sometimes. But, yeah, let's take the auctions. Both, okay, Robin sold and Glenn sold. So Duncan's are still sitting there. Which is fine. And now we can just evolve our Robert Covington so we can get our small forward back. I kind of like, I like Roko. I really like this Roko card. He played a small forward for me in my, you'll see it in the, in tomorrow's episode of the, uh, the road to Gary Payton. And he did, he played really, really well. And my favorite guys in this team, still probably hard, mellow, pad it, eight, and I still probably better. But I mean, Roko, Roko was doing a job at a very similar level to ML car. He really was. Car was getting more steals, but I mean, Roko was doing a job. Honestly, the next player I'm going to have to probably replace is Mullen. Because after the whole patch, the one good thing is that Eric Snow actually can act as a primary ball handler. He actually does it pretty well. Like Snow, well, I think 16.5 the bench. I'm not sure. I think they were the only ones that registered were limited. I don't know what games are registered and what games aren't. But he's doing pretty well. So let's go and we're going to play a game with a 100. Let's go and go Roko. I'm going to put in the new DeJounte. Just so I can get used to his release. Jesus Christ, not Paul Silas. He's terrible. We get new DeJounte and... Screw it, Noah. You get your run. You're going to get your run out here. I win, I win, I lose, I lose. I don't necessarily care too much. We're on the top board. We're still going to get through it all anyway. Um, Like if I do see Rod Strickland, I will cry because it's my first go of the board since Paul Silas is gone. But, um, okay, so Moses Malone is matching up to Noah. That's fine, I'm just gonna get a switch list. Oh, that's that's free agent Moses. Still the same difference, but. Oh, I just accept switch glitch, that's my fault. That's my fault, I ju gotta just accept the switch glitch. Just accept it. Yeah, he's done the exact same thing as me. He's tried to. He's tried to um, user his way through the switch glitch. You can't. You see the screen, you accept it. You have to guard corner. You off ball on corner and accept the switch glitch and just try it as much as you can to deny the ball into the post. Or hope that they switch glitch you twice. Which he didn't use the screen there. Like, that's all I can hope for. Is that he gets Booker sent back to the point guard. Because if he goes and tries to do exactly what he did there, I will get the roll every time. I'm wide open. Rolls open. Dunk. Go get it. It's fine. Same stuff again. He's going to try user his way through the switch glitch. And all he's done again is give me a wide open dunk. you just got to accept it. You have got to accept. There are no defensive settings. So you've got to accept the switch glitch is happening. So if he sets that screen, you just got to guard the opposite corner. And hope for the best. Corner. Oh, wrong icon. That's a shot. You can green that. Oh, that's a weird release. I forgot about that. I forgot about how weird that release can be. 
I mean, not a terrible release by any means. I've been greening a lot with it when I've used them, but it can, uh, can be a little bit off-putting if you never use it before. I gotta help down. Yeah, I, I, I gotta give up that. Is the problem you don't run three bigs? Like, if you don't run three bigs in your opponent, they're running pick and rolls. They will just abuse the switch glitch every time. Just like that again, we have a wide open dunk. Uh, he's got it. The only way he can stop that is by, he has to use her Mullen. As much as I don't think this guy wants to do it, he has to use a Chris Mullen. Like, these two guys are screen, which means I have to use a Joakim Noah. And... Now I have to use a Roko, because these two guys are going to be switched. No, how do we get away without switching? Maybe wing screens don't cause the glitch. I know for a fact, like, that 2k devs cannot fix the switch glitch. They do not know how to fix it. And just like that, he's left me wide open, because he decided to paint it. He decided to paint it, and the Devon Booker automatically has switched off my point guard. It's one of those things, like, if you don't play TTO... Like, switch glitch is avoidable in um, Unlimited, because there are settings that work for it. Like, you can stop the switch glitch with settings. You cannot stop it with them. Um, in TTO. See, I set the screen. Yep. So now I got a user with him. As you guys can see, DeJounte straight away on him. And the ball just glitched into DeJounte's hands. I'm pretty sure that was already past him. Good shot there by Roko. Let's go. These two guys having a solid game here. Both these guys are six, and Joe keep no with six. So all three of my players have six points each. As you see what happened, what exactly happened there. My player is wearing go position. But because I uh because I tried to use her DeJounte. Um instead of you see, wide open, bang. Terrible release. It went in. Um we got blessed with a few whites there. But because I use her DeJounte, he just automatically got wide open with at least one of his players. But um yeah, you you literally you cannot you literally cannot on ball screens. If you on ball and fight over a screen, the road is wide open every single time. Um, what you have to do in TTO is if they actually run a pick and roll is you have to off ball in the corner guy Otherwise, it's going to be a wide open three or a wide open dunk and there is nothing you can do about it You have to off ball and he was like, oh off balling is not real 2k is like trust me You will I will score 100% of possessions on you if you on ball me because there are the AI can is glitched There's a glitch that may forces the AI to switch and they switch in a really weird way in TTO on the ball screens leaving and they by switch glitch if you don't, if you let the two AIs switch with each other, then they switch. If you manually switch, both players go to the same player and leave one player wide open. So you have to let the two AIs switch with each other. You cannot unball a screen in TT Online. It, it unless you have blitz it and get the steal, which doesn't even work anymore. You cannot unball steals. You cannot unball screens. But uh, yeah, so we made a little bit of we made a little bit empty that episode. We really did. Hopefully, our one of our Dimwitty sell. Not by the looks of things. So we've got... We're sitting here on 3, 2, 4k. We got two Dinwiddies to sell. We got two Dunkers to sell. So when these guys sell, that is... Let's say with tax, it's like 24-ish k. Um, yeah, give, give or take. Give or take 24k with tax. So we'll be, we'll be close to the 350k mark. And again, we're at 350k mark. We're quite a lot sitting in our collection. Again, we are getting our badges... We're getting a lot more badges as time goes on. Again, I need to just open one of these packs. I'm not going to, like, I've been too busy to pick a day to do it. We got to some stage. Um, open up all these. But, uh, yeah. So, that is pretty much it, lads. Let's open the Emerald Series 1 player pack. That is pretty much it. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.